name is Jessica Bailey, and I am a student at Samuel Merritt University in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. My name is Teresa Hack, and I am in the BSN program here, and I will be graduating May of 2014. My name is Dr. Michael DeRosa. I'm chair of the Physician Assistant Department at Samuel Merritt University, and I've been here since 1999. I think I had this last trip in August of 2013 was my eighth trip. And I'm Dr. Sharon Gorman, and I'm on faculty in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program at Samuel Merritt University. My name is Alyssa Moore. I'm a student in the Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, and I'll be graduating in May of 2014. Well, we went to Batata, Panama uh, in August of 2013. Uh, there were 13 providers, I think, and we went for a week. We opened clinic for three days um, in the mountains and a lot of prep time on either side of that, setting up clinic and breaking down clinic. Um, the students work really hard on, in prep, preparation for these trips. Um, they fundraise um, for their own expenses, uh, for their own travel costs and the trip costs, and they fundraise as a group so that we can purchase the supplies that, that we take with us. And we have a number of resources we use that, to get low-cost medications um, and supplies. So each trip is really about a six-month process. Um, and it's, it's up to each individual to, to make that commitment and come up with the money and, and help the group um, to, to get everything together that we need to, to go with us. And it really is a student-driven process. It's a lot of hard work, which I expected. You know, there's schlepping around pounds and pounds of medications. Um, there's a four-hour drive in the back of a truck up a mountain on a totally crazy steep rocky dirt road, um, but that was really cool. Uh, and you're seeing lots and lots of patients uh, for many hours a day, but that's really cool too. Yeah. It was eye-opening, it was life-changing, um, and I realized, you know, a lot of those things that I'm talking about, students getting out of that trip, I realized for myself as, as well. Going to Panama was one of those trips that was just so fulfilling, and it, I felt like I came back so much more confident from the trip, and, you know, and I think I can speak for everyone who went on the trip, you know, we all talked about it and said how it, like, changes you in some sort of way, you know, somewhere in your soul, it, you feel like different, you know, you just like have more perspective when you come back. And it really makes the students have to use all of the clinical skills and all of the reasoning skills that they've worked on while they were in school and put them into practice right away with just a really short time and only one visit, which I think is really good for students because it's hard, but it's really rewarding because these patients really appreciate what healthcare we have to offer when we come up there. You realize the similarities between treating poor people in, in a rural environment in Panama and treating you know, poor and underserved patients in the United States. It's not really very different. For me, this I think makes me a much better uh, faculty member. I, I, I definitely use the things that I've seen there and the skills that I've had to practice there and the patient encounters there in classes with students. Um, going with physical therapists and physician assistants and um, family nurse practitioners. At first, we thought that me as a BSN, or a Bachelor's of Science in nursing, <laughs> thought that we, I wasn't gonna have a role to play, and I thought that I was a less of a provider than them because they've had more experience and stuff. But working there with them, I never felt inadequate. Knowing that we really had to hone our skills and give them the best program that we could find that was realistic for their lives and that would help them um, was really powerful. I remember one trip where a little girl fell playing outside the clinic and broke her arm. And we had a student who had been an EMT. And so he fashioned a splint out of a cardboard box and we splinted her up and arranged transport to a local hospital to, to get her taken care of. Um, every trip there's kind of something like that. that challenges you or inspires um, or just gives you a moment of pause and that's one of the reasons I think people come back and start thinking about the next time they're going to go. So having an opportunity like this and then have it also 
like go in line with what we're learning. It's, you couldn't ask for something better. Thank you.